Yeah. Hey there, everyone. Snoo here, and I'm gonna make my own little arch nemesis video about the different recipes I'm doing. Primarily the more easygoing side of things. Uh, actually, the really mega juicing <coughs> recipe I'm about to do will be the first time. I've ever done that one, <laughs> so it's a little bit of a trial, actually. Uh, but uh, let me show you what I'm working with here, so you can kind of see a TLDR in case you're curious what they're going to be. Uh, let's call this a novice, novice level uh, recipe juicing, the league mechanic. First one will be kind of just, you know, honestly, how I like leveled up doing it. Uh, basically, I just try to find, uh, try to collect a decent you know, single non-recipes, basically, such as Gargantuan here, and I'll just kind of start with that, and I try to get a, maybe a second one that's halfway decent, such as, you know, Malediction or uh, Juggernaut, possibly. Third one and fourth one usually wouldn't really matter, but I mean, this would this would look like a typical decent uh, non-recipe way to go about it. Bombardier doesn't really matter there at the end and you know you're gonna end up with the you know, little bit of stuff that way The nice thing about this is just completely brain dead <laughs> Way of farming and it's good when you have like no currency at the start uh, More along the lines of intermediate is one of the extremely popular uh, recipes going around uh, a, lot, a lot of content creators uh, have been uh, doing this one. I'm definitely ripping off their content a little bit when I uh, Introduce this one here, starting with Mirror Image. Uh, scarabs with two additional rerolls. That's essentially like three Scarab rolls. Combined with Treant Horde after. Uh, Treant Horde spawns... Honestly, I'm not exactly sure how many trees it spawns. It actually drop loot, because it seems like some of them don't drop loot. Or they're like, spawn as reanimated minions sometimes. And don't drop loot. But uh, for the sake of argument in this video, I am uh, selecting it at eight i'm gonna say eight uh, it was a previous video i said uh, maybe like five or six but upon second thought and uh reevaluation i think it's more like eight uh somewhere in that ballpark uh you may disagree you may think it's more or less uh but what that ha what that means is the second round yeah, i'm gonna get uh, effectively three scarab rolls times eight <laughs> so it's just gonna now they're not gonna drop 24 scarabs they're gonna drop around eight scarabs uh, and that's what usually happens there. And then, unlike the other content creators, I'm gonna go next with Opulent, because a, a lot of people put like Assassin here for double currency, or maybe uh, Rejuvenation for currency and an extra reroll. In my opinion, I don't like what the third one does to the uh, part two of spending these, uh, where, you know, in part two, I'm getting something like eight or nine Scarabs in total. And if you put in literally anything else, you dramatically reduce the number of scarabs you're going to get on round three. Unless you put an opulent in. Now, this one is somewhat rare, but I haven't really found a purpose for it in any great purpose yet. So, to me, its greatest purpose is here. I got a few of them. Huh? I'm not sure. I only have two left, but I've spent like five or six. You know, I found maybe almost ten this league, so it's kind of rare. Um, apparently this affix I've heard is the monster is fabulously wealthy. This is something like a 10,000% quantity rarity modifier just to the, the monster in question. So it's, I don't know, it's not really that big of a deal really. And the last one, I do think rejuvenation is probably the best bet here because of course for the fourth one, you are going to have to put in something else that is going to essentially ruin your scarab drops. And probably the best thing to do that is just one roll of something that can happen to roll, uh, also roll an additional time. And currency being basically the second best after scarabs, that puts rejuvenation on, on the board for me. Um, again, a lot of people don't really care about the third and fourth roll. To me, it matters a bit because if you've ever done this recipe and actually played it out, uh, you know just how good the second round is on scarabs, and then you know just how few scarabs you get afterward. Now, you know, if, if you went like uh, Mirror, Image, Treant Horde, Assassin with double currency, you're going to get a lot more currency. But the problem is, currency is not really worth as much as scarabs. Unless you hit the Exalted Orb, of course, but, you know, maybe that's worth it. Now, for the more advanced users out there, I've done a lot of little calculations here. I'll get into the calculations later as, before I start this off. But, uh... 
this is no doubt going to start with Innocence Touched, the most challenging one to get. <laughs> and if you want proof of that, I will give it to you right here, a little resource that I like to use. Uh, we got link select select any one of these innocence touched right here boom I got them all here I can just kind of see what the breakdown on innocence touched I can parse it out this way if I want I can go back up into lunar's touch go back into innocence touched and I get a pretty good um, look at this now there are, there are actually a lot of different tools out there now people have their preferences I will link this one in the description below it's the one I use um, feel free to use whatever one you like uh, you may like something different and you know you can link yours below in the comments if you'd like sorry I can't credit the uh, creator I'm not exactly sure who it was um, anyway let's get started with the first map I'm gonna run Dune three times tier 10 uh, I've been told tier doesn't matter at all neither does pack size and quantity and quality and Anyway, I'm a little surprised it doesn't matter, but it seems to completely um, not matter at all for the sake game. of the uh, Arch Nemesis League mechanic. Well, I'm not really concerned about this map for anything other than just demonstrating it, so we'll kind of keep things short. So the first one we'll do is the... we'll, we'll, we'll start low and uh, <laughs> go up. We'll, we'll start with the easy one first. I'm still running my Toxic Rain League starter, about 3 million DPS right now. This is about week one into the league, by the way. So, you know, if I'm just running a league starting build, I'm happy I got a Gargantuan I can go through, you know, quickly. No problem, this is compl this is basically brain dead, I, I didn't have to set up any recipes, there's, there's not a single recipe I set up. I'm not really sure why a Gilded Shaper Scarab dropped, but... <laughs> okay. Odd. Wow, I almost died there in a tier 10. Kind of crazy. That was before the guys spawned. <laughs> okay, you, know, you see a few divination cards dropping with the currency. Uh, really kind of scratching my head about that Shaper Scarab. <laughs> I'm running Strongbox nodes, so I get uh, double currency from Strongbox. Well, that's more exciting than any of the Arch <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that's pretty funny. And then the fourth one, you know, chances are you can't really choose a decent four, and, and you know, you're lucky to kind of think about two, uh, the best two. But Gargantuan is the one I would normally start with. <laughs> okay. Obviously, uh, better than average results <laughs> out of that. Uh, but yeah, that's the, um, that's what it looks like uh, for kind of the no-brainer stuff. Surprisingly good results with a patient card, especially. Uh, clocking in around 18 chaos per. We'll deposit that loot. And we'll go on to round two. Now round two is a kind of intermediate, intermediary recipe. Uh, surprisingly low investment required to do this one. And high returns. Definitely recommend it. Um, you're, you're hearing a lot of anecdotal, or a lot of anecdotes about this recipe probably just about nothing but good things on it and I agree it's definitely one you know if, if you only want to focus on one specific recipe this should be the one to do it yeah this is definitely the one to do it and you don't have to concern yourself too much about the third and fourth choice but you definitely 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 want to save up your mirror image in combination with tree and horde do not run any other combination than these two first uh, the, yeah, just don't do anything. So here we go. A lot of minions spawned. Um, yeah, it looks like about eight minions spawned, and you know, most of them dropped a uh, scarab. Now the reason they didn't all drop a scarab is because um, they're having to share the drops with a generic reward that the treant uh, horde modifier gives, and if I add another random reward in there for round three then it's going to significantly reduce uh, my scare rewards so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run opulent and that just keeps it at these two choices here so every single monster that spawns out of here is a 50% chance to drop a scarab 
at least one scare. And you're gonna see, you know, I'm still getting like 50%. It looked like I had good RNG there, actually. I got uh, much more than 50%. And so if you don't run Opulent, you're probably not gonna see that many Scarabs uh, out of round three. and if, Or out of round four, for that matter. Okay, and so we got the last one here, and we're just gonna do rejuvenation. Now the fourth one, you know, necromancer is pretty good. Rejuvenation is pretty good. Could brand assassination the last one. And here you go. You see a few currencies starting to pop up, but I've still got very good RNG on the scarabs. Not necessarily well polished divination scarabs, good, but as far as the sheer number of scarabs, that was really good. I think this is a this is a pretty good uh, showing for. Um, the purpose of opulent, if that's how you say it. So that's round two, or map two, and again, that that's more of a intermediary style, and that's that's probably this is probably the best one to do. Look look at all these scarabs here. You can see I dropped something like twenty scarabs in total, and there may be more. And I'm very happy with that result. Now here comes the last one. Now before we run the last one, I want to show you something. A little thing I've been working on. Now I had done a little bit of napkin math. No, disclaimer, I, this has not been like proof checked here. Um, but as far as I could tell, despite what some people might say, if you're going all the way and, and you're, you're trying to look at all the potential possibilities and you're trying to think of what's, what's literally the most lucrative recipe you could possibly run um, if you have all the resources and all the time available it's pretty obvious to me that no matter how you break it down innocence well assuming you go for the currency route <laughs> you could maybe go for uniques instead I hear you can get pretty lucky with the uniques but assuming you go the currency route which is kind of the the more standard route clearly innocence number one and in my opinion, Brian King number two. Now I've seen people, most everyone involves Brian King in some way because he, he offers the most number of rerolls as well as three separate ones. Um, but if you calculate a reroll at basically the same value as an actual currency drop, which is not exactly, but it's pretty close, uh, then it's pretty clear that Brian King comes out uh, as the, the absolute best second option. Now from there, uh, it it, it kind of deviates. Depends on you know how how you look at it, how you calculate it. So again, I put Treant in with eight uh, ads, and here's something I'm not sure of. I'm actually doing a little test here. I'm not sure if Kitava touched influences Treant touch. Now Kitava touched does. Here it is. Um, Kitava Touch says rewards are doubled and offers a generic double. So rewards are double is, is insanely powerful. So obviously you're going to want to use that one towards the end, either number three or number four, to just double everything. If Kitava Touch works with the Treant ads, I think it's absolutely amazing as like the fourth slot. So I'm kind of looking at the bottom one here. Uh, this is the one I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt Innocence then Brian King, then Treant, then Kitava. Now instead of Kitava, you could run Abrath for an additional four rolls and, and three. Uh, you could skip Treant completely and just go, <laughs> uh, yeah, I have that one here on the top. And you can see it still comes out to like 339 um, possible, you know, actual rolls on currency. Now that's not, that doesn't mean 339 currency. You gotta remember one currency reward usually equals about three currencies. So that's basically a thousand currency rolls <laughs> is what that is. Um, individual currency rolls. And, and all of these are, are somewhat close to a thousand except for the one we put Treant in the second. Um, but again, if Kitava does not affect Treant, then that changes the game a fair bit. And maybe instead of Kitava, you would want to use Abrath. Um, that's kind of my guess. Or potentially, you would use, you would do something like this. You would do Innocence, Brian, then, then Abrath and Kitava at the end or something. Maybe skip Treant entirely. But so far as we know, Treant is, is 
so good that it probably is the best. So I just wanted to kind of show you that. And, and I will actually throw all this stuff into the description below. It won't be color coded like this. You can take a screenshot of it if you want. Uh, the, co the colors are associated with the, you know, are associated with themselves. So you can kind of see how I broke this down in total. And again, the total equals the total number of currency and its re-rolls. It does not equal the total number of currency. And I know a lot of people like Innocence followed by Treant followed by others because they, and with that kind of strategy, you are getting more raw currency, certainly. But again, you're not getting nearly as much uh, as many re-roll attempts on your currency in total. And so that, that's what no, those numbers represented there. Is the, So you can kind of see that they do kind of even out. If you start with uh, Innocence followed by Brian King. Okay. It's exciting for me because I'm not exactly sure uh, what's going to happen. So I'm going to be paying close attention to round four in particular to see if it drops uh, instead of like three currency items popping out of each tree, if, if like six, five or six are popping out of each tree, then I know it's working. Innocence touched right there. Okay. I do want to say also. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. You see, there's way more than just three currency things to drop. I want to say also that I do not think this is worth doing. Unless. Unless the. Uh, the treants do duplicate. And. Well, more importantly, unless I get at least like a couple exalts. Because if I don't get at least like two exalts, then this was not worth the time. <laughs> It just wasn't worth the time. Of course, there's a lot of RNG involved in getting exalts doing this way. Oh yeah, I gotta actually fight this guy, don't I? <laughs> so I got a lot of rerolls. You see that I got some chaos orb because it rerolled those currencies so many times. A lot of them turn, uh, scroll all the way up to chaos orb. No exalted orbs yet, so not a huge surprise there. All right, now we go treant. And let's see, there should be like three or so currency popping out of each treant. Nothing crazy. That's unfortunate, you know, getting up close to exalted orbs and rolling as divine. Divine orbs supposedly have the same drop chance as exalted orbs. So, I mean, you could kind of think two divine orbs basically means you dropped it at one exalted orb. Um, as far as the mathematics are concerned there. Pretty sure this is the case. Actually, I've been looking for a vampiric for a very long time, so that's nice. That's one of the problems with all these recipes that they take a lot of time to get set up. Okay, here's the big money right here. I mean, this is going to be big, even if it does what I think it's going to do or doesn't. It's not turning out to look that great, though. And I don't feel like the treants drop double loot. It does not seem like, you know, I'll watch the replay on that, but it doesn't seem like they dropped double loot. So that was a piss poor result. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just terrible. <laughs> uh, I know some people have done basically the same thing I just did and gotten like three exalted orbs out of it. I certainly could have, but unless you're consistently getting um, two or more. I mean, I'll, I'll do it a few more times. I'll keep collecting and see what happens. I don't think I'll use Kativa on the last one. I'll probably use... Uh, Abareth on the very last one next time well there you have it uh, that's the end of that video <laughs> I essentially dropped one exalted orb and uh, you know I probably most of the time on average you're probably gonna see one or two exalted orbs from that uh, but we didn't see it this time so that's a shame but there you go you got to see kind of just uh, you know the no-brainer just sort of alk and go if you will uh, strategy just gargantuan juggernaut blah 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 whatever and then you got to see the the sort of premier great strategy very low investment if you want to kind of verify just how low that investment is for that intermediate when go down here and check uh, mirror image it's just it's just two two connected there and then um treant which you got to use for all of them is just three 
Opulent is one by itself. And again, you don't have to use Opulent, but it's just right there, uh, right here. And then I used, now I did use Rejuvenating, which is just two. So such a simple recipe to make, very easy to make. And you don't have to, it's very easy to memorize. See, I needed the Vampiric because I needed, uh, actually I need to make an Assassin for something. Yeah, I've been trying to make Assassin forever. So, uh, thank you for checking out the video. That's all there is to it. Um, I'll keep testing it out because I've, I've done the work and <laughs> obviously I've done the work, um, kind of memorizing things, learning this as it goes. So, but if you're someone who hasn't yet taken that time investment to really, you know, figure out, um, how to collect all of the ones, especially in the tiny little space we have, which is expanding supposedly. If you haven't already done a great deal of learning and memorization for these recipes, then I don't recommend <laughs> going, you know, on the deep end. For the you know the innocence touched and kitava touched recipes um i can't speak for the unique recipes i haven't watched me vi uh, videos on those but i think some people are finding good results there um but again that's just my take so thanks for checking the video uh, i'll come out with the next one here in a day or two in the meantime you can uh, watch me live on twitch if you'd like peace for now